But yeah, the whole point of this lesson now, this see one vid has turned into a fucking... Whatever the fuck they call it. <laughs> a nine-part series! <laughs> the vid of the series now is uh, <clears throat> where the fuck is the pick <laughs> in other words where the fuck is the next goddamn arpeggio at okay I'm in a different box now because there's three boxes when you're doing arpeggios and when you're fucking flying up and down the neck like mom Steen's doing and you stop in a box, you're like, okay, I used up all my energy just to figure out how to get from that place to that place. Now the, now the brain's like, okay, I need a breather here. Where the fuck is the next chord? And then we're so wrapped up in that, it's like, what the fuck was the next chord anyway? <laughs> so what I'm saying is we might just want to rest here for a while on that six. Because it'll fit in with all the rest of the chords, <laughs> I'll guarantee you, without even uh, making it happen. Although one of these days we'll get some classical shit and we'll make it happen. Because I'll be like... It'll be like this. <laughs> Basically hit the bass notes and, you know fucking melody at the same time. <laughs> they call that the fucking homo rhythm. <laughs> I read the listen book, musical book over there. They had polyrhythms at first, then they got into homo, or it might have been a different word. Homo just means two. Counterpoint. Left and right hand piano, homo. Hey, the brother's a homo, sister's a homo too. No shit. I didn't need you to tell me that. <laughs> Counterpoint up the as you were, soldier. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking to myself, yeah. Okay, here's here's the six. Where's the fox of three now? So we so as we're sitting here, there it is. Now the seven. Okay. Now let's say that the, that that I'm doing the three. I don't want to change boxes. Okay, where the fox of seven now? The fuck am I doing? Let's change this box. Okay, here we are. Let's take it down one. There we are, okay. Now where's the seven? We're, do we're still doing the three. Now where's the seven? Now, the re now, you know, pianists, if you ever listen to them fucking, fucking, well-trained pianists, they can just fucking do fucking Momstein arpeggios all over the fucking piano fucking Alright, now to make that happen on one of these guitars, you fucking got to be at a fucking Momstein level as far as talent, repetition skill, or, you know, repetition, whatever the fuck. And just plain old making it second nature so you can think, where the fuck is the next fucking arpeggio at? <laughs> you gotta be! 
And I don't see very many fuckers out there doing it. Well, oh, they are doing it, though. But, uh... Uh, they don't even compare to Momstein. Well, they do compare a little bit. But, uh... You know... The brother, the brother is pretty much cornered the market on the on the fucking uh, classical piano arpeggios for the guitar. Uh, as far as uh, probably knowing where he's at and using that capacity of uh, making it sound good and fast and clear or whatever the fuck. So, you know. The brother does have something going on. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know. And, and Steve Vai is probably there too, except for the fuck that I, he, he, he really doesn't do it. So something tells me, you know, maybe he's, he, 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 he's not at that level. He ain't fucking doing no arpeggios like it sound like a piano. He just fucking, on a consistent fucking basis. It just, I have not heard it. Maybe he's doing it in the bathroom, hiding it from everybody. <laughs> Stroking that piano. Maybe he's got a little miniature keyboard in there. You know, floating on the water like a little duck. Waterproof. Rustproof strings, too. <laughs> in the tub with a fucking quack-a-duck piano, a real fucking little miniature that floats on the water with steel strings in it. It sounds like a grand piano. <laughs> Get a picture in your mind of that. But yeah, I mean, for some reason, I think Momstein is much more accomplished in the arpeggios than every guitarist on the planet. And that's inspiring for a brother like me, uh, because I plan on surpassing his ass. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and to jumpstart his ass to want to catch up. See? So we all, you know, reach a, a fucking, all together reach this wonderful equilibrium where we're all there together. But, uh,. Well, yeah, knowing this fretboard like the back of the hand, which, uh, which I had to give Steve Vai credit. I think that motherfucker knows the fretboard like the back of his hand more than any fucker on the planet. Probably, more than likely. Could be wrong, though. Could be wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong, you know, and why could I be wrong? Because I don't see him being himself in any fucking videos, fucking sharing the information that he knows on the fretboard while he's playing. I don't see him fucking doing some shit and he'll be calling out this just just off the top of his head. Boom, this is that. I'm here. I'm here. I'm there. That's that number. That's that. He's not calling it out. <laughs> so something tells me, you know. Uh, you know, he can, there's a room for improvement of knowing this fretboard like the fucking back of the fucking hand.
And then the next level is just to hear something and say, and, and rattle it right on off. Right on off. That's a fucking minor chord. It could be a 6-3 or 2. The keys, this, 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 and that. And it sounds like your guitar is tuned down three steps. <laughs> you want to talk about some ultimate musicianship. Ho. Oh, we have a long way to go. To catch up to our brother Mozart's. And our brother fucking Bach and fucking Haydn and Hayden and Spaden and Jaden and Jacking and Whacking. <laughs> For some reason the universe wanted to do that. <laughs> Five boners on that expression. <laughs> so yeah. So here we're, you know. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, something for the Henry repeater the Henry repeater now now my, my mother or mother taught me the Henry repeater because she's a Henry and in China folks all Henry's are descendants or are in the same bloodline as King Henry in China when they look at the at the blood charts all the fucking Henrys are fucking related. Even if you don't show up on the chart. And the, and the reason being for that is because even if your last name is not fucking Henry. Henry is a philosophy. That's why in China, they'll bring someone outside that's born outside the family to run the business. Because the motherfucker knows how, what he's fucking doing. When the son doesn't have no shit what he's doing. Ain't gonna pass the business on to a fucking son just because he's in the bloodline got the Henry last name. Fuck that son. That's, what, that's the way they think. They bring in a son from some other motherfucking family from Zukawaku tribe. But if the motherfucker know how to run a business, he's in the bloodline. Because that's a universal philosophy they look for. That's a mindset. It's an attitude. <laughs> and if you and if you see the way that I am, alright, then you know something the Henry repeating firefighting marshal at a fuck dude. <laughs> I, I I I am the, the prime eggs eggs ample. You know. And, and it ain't that I'm going to go run someone's fucking business in some fucking family business just because I, I fucking know what I'm doing. It's because I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to create whatever fucking atmosphere needs to be created on the planet. It's the fucking creative atmosphere. In the midst of all this jurisdiction shit. If there's no stage, the Henry mindset creates the stage. And that's what these fucking YouTube videos are. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch that under 15. Step, or vid 5 or 4.